Hi everyone. I am out and about for a little walk just now before I go home and I thought that I would bring you down to one of the accessible Hormon ECN sirens here in Grangemouth. Um, this is in a small part of the industrial estate which is next to the refinery and it's really quite dark now and this camera isn't the best so I don't know how clear it will come out but um, how close can, can I get? <laughs> I don't want anyone to come out and chase me. Um, but yes, uh, this is the Hormon that you can get closest to, I think. Um, and I just wanted to show everyone one of them um, close up here. Uh, this might be the one that I come to film at in June. Um, so I may be just in the refinery and then I'll walk down to this one. Um, so. Uh, yeah, that's this one, and I hope you can see it relatively well. It would be better if I came down when it was a little bit. managed to avoid getting soaked all night and now I'm getting soaked because I decided to go and see the horn. <sighs> Dedication. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna get fucking friggin' soaked. <laughs> okay, over and It's many hours later now and I think I've dried off, finally. But while I was out there getting drowned earlier, I forgot to mention a couple of things. <coughs> um, the hormone that I was filming earlier, just a few yards down from it, is a life-size replica of a Spitfire airplane. Um, and there is quite a lot of airplane and aviation memorabilia around Grangemouth and um, you know there's pubs, hotels uh, named after old aircrafts and there's like little statues of airplanes um, and big decals of airplanes on the sides of the buildings and stuff and I used to wonder what all that was for uh, what all the plane hiatus was in Grangemouth but it turns out that uh, this part of Grangemouth in particular, it used to be a big massive airfield. Um, it was like a military one, it wasn't commercial. But the hangars and the runways and the planes and stuff, it was it was all here um, many, many decades ago. So that's that explains all of the the airplane paraphernalia. And dotted around Grangemouth, apparently, are some of the, the wind socks, I think they're called. You know, the things for testing the speed or the direction of the wind. Uh, there's still some of those uh, that's been left standing, so I'll have to look for them and try and film them as well. Um, and I was going to film the Spitfire tonight when I was down there, but it was just too dark. As you could probably tell, you know, I could barely see the hormones, so you probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have seen the Spitfire. So I'm going to go down there again in daylight at some point this week or next and film the Spitfire and film the hormone again in the daylight and you see them properly. And I'm also going to film one of the mini weekly tests of the on-site hormones here um, and they happen on Mondays and Fridays at quarter to twelve in the morning and usually only last just about under five minutes and it's usually starts with a tannoy announcement and then 
maybe a couple of other alarms will go off and then the hormones go off for about under a minute and now it's just either slow or fast pulse that they do for the weeklies sometimes it's both they'll do slow and then fast or vice versa but it used to be that they would do a blast of the low tone and then a blast of the high tone which I thought was great because I loved the sound of the high tone when they suddenly just cut it at the end of the test and you had that ambience of it gradually going down <coughs> but no they don't do that now it's just the pulses but it still sounds awesome you know you get close enough or it's clear enough so I'm going to try and film one of them. I've been meaning to do that for a long time on this channel, actually. Um, so that's what I'm just trying to do, you know, until the next big siren test in June, which I can't wait for. Um, uh, I'm just trying to get little channel fillers, if you like. Little bits of something here and there, just to try and keep this channel alive in some sense. You know, if it ever was. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so that's, so that's what I'm going to do next week. And then within the next week, I'm going to try and film one of the mini weekly tests and get down and film the Spitfire and the Hormone during the day. So, that's that. And I will see you in the next video, hopefully within the next week. Um... If I don't catch pneumonia and die in the meantime. <laughs> um, so, good night and goodbye until the next time.